Well, we're very pleased to welcome my first guest in studio, Mr. Dean Jaynes. He is the CEO of Imaging 3, IMGGQ is their current stock symbol. Uh, Dean, good to see you. Good to see you too, Don. Well, Dean, I think the last time we had you on here, we were kind of getting an information situation down. Mm -hmm. uh, the company had filed for Chapter 11 protection last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to get a progress report from you, and I really did appreciate that. I should mention that we are reinitiating coverage of the company beginning this week. We'll be following you very closely over the next several months. Mm -hmm. But I understand there's some big news with respect to um, the Chapter 11 and, and things going forward. Why don't you fill us in? Well, you know, the good news is, is uh, last week, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, we were in court for a hearing uh, to get our plan confirmed. Mm -hmm. And the court ruled uh, to, you know, confirm our plan. Now, this court still has to enter the, you know, the plan, um, file it with a the court. There's some other issues that we have to do to get ourselves out of the bankruptcy process. Okay. But, you know, that's the start. You know, we're on our road to coming out of BK. Um so here we are at that at that point in this in this uh, process. Mm -hmm. uh, when do you anticipate that the company would fully emerge from Chapter 11? We'd see the Q drop off the symbol and that type of thing. That's a good question. I mean, we're we're still working to find the answers to all those. There's a lot of work for us to continue moving forward, and part of that is getting all this filed with the court. The court has to file the ruling. You know, we have to get to a point to where we're in what they call the plan effective stage. Okay. Okay. And then we've got to catch up with our SEC filings. FINRA is going to want to, you know, chime in on this as far as maybe they'll suspend the trading for a while. I, I have no idea. We might mm -hmm. even have to change the symbol. But okay. We're, <clears throat> we're at the beginning of the, you know, the beginning, you know, with the, with the new reorganization. Okay. So I'm happy that we're actually at that point. Now we've got a lot of work to get us there. Well, of course, we've seen over years, you know, many large public companies, many small public companies go into Chapter 11. Some are successful in emerging from it, as you mm -hmm. are in the process of doing. Some mm -hmm. go away forever. Um, let's talk about your shareholders right mm -hmm. now, just for a moment. Mm -hmm. um, say to, you know, say to me what you would say to shareholders that would call you up and say, you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to my investment? What's going to happen to my shares? You mm -hmm. mentioned a possible symbol change. Uh, give us a little bit of that. Well, what I... Uh, what I think is going to happen um, and what is going to happen are, could be two different things. But where, where we have in our plan is that um, shareholders will get um, roughly 5% of the ownership of the new company. Okay. Um, that's going to translate into roughly, and I put a newsletter out in March you know, stating this, about one share for 61 shares of the existing okay. shares. Um, that'll change, I'm sure. Um, it might be off slightly one way or the other, but they'll get roughly 5% ownership of the new company. Now, you know, if you've ever been through bankruptcy, shareholders usually are the ones that get the short end of the stick. Primarily, okay. they're out of the money, as they call it. Right. You know, you owe more than what you can pay, um, and um, if you can't pay all your creditors, shareholders usually get nothing. Okay. We set aside 5%. At least they can get 5%. So okay. something is obviously better than nothing. Okay. Now, for people who have been following the company, have maybe have become shareholders of the company, obviously you would. there's really no reason to emerge from Chapter 11 unless you're planning to basically go back to the business plan with the Dominion 3 mm -hmm. uh, and FDA approval. Uh, I'm sure that question is popping up in the minds of people mm -hmm. listening to us right now. What's next in going after FDA approval of that device? Well, you know, the steps that we have right now are get out of the bankruptcy, get back as a reporting company, and then get back to the business of getting this in front of the FDA. Again. Okay. Now, you know, it's part of our plan. It's always been part of our plan to mm -hmm. resubmit with the FDA. My intention is, is once we're out of the BK, once we are fully reporting again, caught up with our SEC filings, we're going to resubmit with the FDA. I expect that's going to take between 90 days to six months. Okay. And I expect and hope that we'll be filing by fall. Okay. Now, of course, everything you've just described uh, is not done by charitable organizations. Right. All of that stuff costs money and right. sometimes a lot of money because there's right. lawyers involved, there's a consultants involved. Yeah. From a capital perspective, uh, is, is the company prepared for that? Is it set up for that? What can you enlighten us as far as that goes? Well, we, you know, the court approved us to be able to, to raise money, you know, in the bankruptcy process, which mm -hmm. is extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. um, but we have done so and okay. we're, we're wrapping... Um, well, we've raised enough to be able to, to go through this process. Okay. And we'll probably continue to raise money as a public company. We'll have to get there first. Right. But, you know, um, it is all about money. It, mm -hmm. it money, you know, to pay consultants. Because FDA consultants is, are going to need to be caught up. They're sure. going to have to be paid. 
we have to do you know image testing in, you know at a at a at a site that can do clinical imagery okay um, and that costs money you know mm -hmm. there's the, the facility fee the what the expenses are for that um, but you know we've 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 set it out we know the plan and we know pretty much what it's going to cost and and we should be able to accomplish it all okay uh, anyone who's followed your company over the years, Dean, uh, you know, of course, we've been following your company for about three or four years. Mm -hmm. uh, there are shareholders involved. Mm -hmm. uh, they go online. They read the message boards. There are people that mm -hmm. say, well, you know, this Dean James guy and this Dean James thing and all this yeah. stuff. Um, what I'd like to hear from you, if you don't mind, is a little bit about your dedication to what you're doing, because obviously you've gone through a lot to get to this point mm -hmm. after the filing of the chapter 11 and mm -hmm. now you're in this emergence stage so to speak can you kind of reaffirm your dedication to what the company's doing in the business model well absolutely I mean you know from a, a dedication part of it I mean I wouldn't have gone through this process if I didn't believe in this technology and I didn't believe that we I could do what I I've said I can do um, I wouldn't even have bothered. I mean, okay. it's been a very difficult process. I've obviously, you know, um, had the negative side of things, and you know, um, that's that's reality. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm an optimist, and but I also believe in myself, and I believe in this technology, and I believe this technology can really make a difference in the medical imaging space and the medical community as a whole. But you know, saying that and getting it there are two different things. But I'm dedicated and. You know, there's a renewed faith when you come out of bankruptcy because it's somewhat like a new beginning, sure. you know, and you have the past and you've learned from your mistakes, but you get to do it again. And that's what I'm, I'm focused on is, is learning from the mistakes of the past, you know, minor to major, and moving forward through this process to get this thing in front of the FDA and get a successful submission. Now, you know, again, the risks are there. You know, will the FDA approve it? Will they not approve it? I, I can only increase my chances by bringing in good people, good you know um, um, consultant groups that have a lot of experience to help me get there. Okay. You know, and I, I expect we can do it. Imaging three again. Currently, the symbol is IMGGQ. Uh, Dean, I know that we're going to be following you very closely through this reemergence process. You'll be coming back in with updates as mm -hmm. we go along. I appreciate that. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Don.